So a few weeks ago, I asked Noctua if they'd be willing to send me a few fans to take a look at, and heck, if they didn't send nine of them. Hello everybody and welcome to Tech Uploaded, I'm Chris and as I said, I'm surrounded by fans. I've got five of the new Redux line fa of fans from Noctua as well as four of the industrial PPC line. So what exactly is going on here? Well, these little bad boys right here, this is actually the 80 millimeter version of their uh, Redux series of fans, were introduced to kind of um, make an easier point of entry for someone maybe looking into using one of Noctua's fans because before, you kind of had to go with like an NFF 12 or something like that, and they were on the higher end of the price range for, you know, as far as fans are concerned. So, you know, with the likes of Corsair, they've got their SP series, and then they've got the slightly cheaper versions. Noctua kind of came to the table and said, you know what, we can do that too. We can release a fan that is, um, you know, fairly affordable and still gets you really good performance. Now, before I go any further in the review, I'm going to preface this. If you think one of these fans is going to replace the current NFF 12, you know, the kind of ugly, doesn't really fit in any kind of case aesthetic, but performs really well fan, there's a really long description. You're going to be a little disappointed. And I got, I got excited when I first opened the box for this, because if you look at this box, this is also called the NFF 12. So there's two NFF 12s, but there's a big difference between the two. For one, this is an industrial fan, so it runs at, I believe, 3,000, no, 2,000 RPM, whereas if you look at the stats on the NFF 12, this one is 1,500. So all that said, what's going on here? Let's move into the uh, Redux line first. So I've got an 80 millimeter, a 92 millimeter, a 120 millimeter, and then two 140 millimeters, and these are actually pretty cool. We'll take these out of the box and take a look at them. There's two different versions of the um, 140. There's a more circular one and a square one. So the first thing you'll notice, I'll take a look at the 120 millimeter version of this fan. The packaging is very simple. Uh, it's just a nice square box, and when you open it up, bear with me here, these, I've opened them before, and I'm trying not to tear the box apart when I do it. When you open them up, it's very simplified. You've just got the fan sitting right inside the box and pop the fan out, the little cable runs through, slide that out, and boom, you've got a fan. So taking a look at the new fan, the Redux series, you'll notice that it's got this uh, much more subdued color palette to it. So with this fan, you don't have um, the little rubber edges, which are nice for noise reduction. They've taken that out to reduce the cost a little bit. Uh, the blade design is uh, pretty simple, nothing too crazy going on there either. It's just a very simple fan, but it is 4-pin PWM, and I think if you have like a gunmetal gray case or, you know, even a black case, this is going to fit in there and not stick out nearly as much as the current NFF-12 fans do because they're just that uh, unique Noctua look. This is kind of the, this is weird for me to be holding a Noctua fan and have it not be um, just really weird on the aesthetic. So. This is definitely a little more neutral. Um, I think they probably could have gone black with this and maybe that would have been a little bit better, but the fan has that same Noctua quality feel to it as far as the weight's concerned. Uh, I do like the shielding on the cable itself. You can't see any of the wires unless you look at the back of the fan, then you can actually see the color-coded individual wires for the four pin. But uh, overall, you know, nice clean look, nothing crazy going on here. So let's unbox all of them. All right, I can't touch the table anymore. I've got everything balanced. It's looking good. This round fan especially is kind of like, it's, it's giving me that look like it's going to roll over at any minute. So anyway, here are all the Redux fans lined up. So again, 80, 92, 120, 140, and then the round 140. And on the industrial PPC side of things, you've got both the 120 millimeter and 140 millimeter versions in both 3-pin and 4-pin PWM. And now for the specs.
Well, all right, as you can see, I've got a few of the fans hooked up uh, to the build I'm actually doing right now. This is my 4790K build, and I'm almost to the end, except I need to put some fans up at the top. So I thought, what better time to bust out the Noctua fans again, and now that we've got the specs down and the general overview, why not hook them up? See how they sound, see how they perform, how I feel about them before I make a commitment. Now, if you can see in the video, which you can kind of see it there, I did already commit to the 140 millimeter Redux airflow fan for my exhaust in the rear of the PC. And uh, I'm happy with that choice. It's very quiet. I tested that one out before hooking up uh, these three fans to the hub on the back of the computer, which is why I'm in kind of this weird configuration. So, you know, I have to say, once the computer boots up, which I can't see a darn thing because I've never actually booted the system before, so I'm assuming it's just jumping to the default fan profile that is loaded on the Z97 workstation board uh, because as fans do when you first turn on the computer, they kick up to full speed and then they calm themselves down. So right now they're settled somewhere in their mid-range. So I thought why not do a little, uh, little hearing test here on these and see how they sound. And I gotta say, they're not super quiet, but considering I have all three of them sitting out in the open right here in front of me, they're not really all that loud. I really expected uh, the PPC, the industrial fans, to be particularly noisy with the 2000 RPM, and I believe these, uh, you know, this is 2000 RPM as well, but these two fans kick up to a pretty high RPM, and I kind of expected them to be a little bit noisy. All right, so went over the specs, and here's what's interesting. When Noctua first sent me these fans, I was like, wow, that's really cool. They sent me 240 and 220, awesome. Well, then I started looking at the back and I was a little perplexed. I'm sitting here reading and I'm looking at one of them and I'm like, this is only a three pin. That's strange. How come the 140 millimeters only three pin, but then the 104 or 20 millimeters three and 140 millimeters four and back and forth. And I'm like, what's going on? And then finally I just sat the two boxes down next to each other and I realized, wait a minute, one of these is an NFA14 and the other one is an NFA14 PWM. Very small text change on the front. So what they did is they sent me the PWM version of the PPC in both 120 and 140. So I may do something a little bit squirrely on my build actually and, and use one PWM fan and one three pin fan at the top because I wanna to use two 140 millimeter fans at the top of the case. And I really like the look of these fans. I have to say, um, I can't really tell too much of a difference here in sound. As a matter of fact, the 140 millimeter may be rolling a little bit harder and that's the four pin version. So I think uh, the best thing to do here is, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna shut the computer down, boot it back up and just be very quiet so you can hear these things really rev up. So I'm gonna do that first now that I've got all my specs clear on that. But uh, you know, just, it's, it's kinda, it's kind of weird. So I think I may have, um, at the very beginning of the video, been a little bit confused. But if you're looking for something really close to the classic NFF12, the closest thing you're gonna get to it is this fan right here, the Industrial PPC 2000 PWM. It is gonna kick up to a higher RPM if you want it to. Uh, it's gonna be louder if you let it go that high. But overall, I think this is pretty darn close to an NFF12 if that's what you're trying to get to. Uh, nice static pressure fan, four pin, PWM control, boom. Can you hear the silence? All right, everything's nice and quiet right now. So I'm gonna move this, these fans about as close to me as I can get without knocking them over. It's just so I can have all three. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna take the airflow fan out of the mix. Now keep in mind, both the PWM and the three pin fans are only running to a three pin connector on this fan hub. So PWM, PWM one's not really getting any advantage at the moment here. So they're both facing outward, both static pressure. Uh, I've gotta be honest, just even getting the camera set up for this when these fans are running, the camera is about three feet away from the edge of this table. And I was standing in front of the camera and I could feel the breeze coming off of these fans even at their like medium setting. So these kick out a lot of air. A lot of static pressure is coming off of these bad boys. Really impressed with that, that I could feel it that far away, even just at like chill setting. Get it, chill setting. All right, here we go.
All right, so as you can hear, they get pretty darn noisy when they're at their full speed. Uh, that it kind of sounds a little bit like uh, one of those um, little uh, helicopters, the uh, remote helicopters getting ready to take off. But when they kick back down, they're really not bad, and man, do they move a lot of air. I mean, you'll be able to hear it probably blowing over the microphone. And it actually feels really good right now, because it's a little bit hot in here, so having this on my face. Hey, you can kind of do that thing like when you're a kid and you're talking to the fan. That's never good. So now I've got just the 140 millimeter running. And as far as sound goes, I'll put it up to the mic. It's definitely not super quiet, um, but it's not overly noisy. I will say though, compared to the airflow version of this fan that's in the rear of the case, this definitely kicks off a lot more noise. Compared to that fan, this one is doing some business. But putting my hand at the rear of the case, you know, I can feel some air moving, but it's not a huge amount. Putting my hand right here, air is moving. So if I have this sitting at the top of my case, blowing directly down onto that Noctua cooler, I think I would be getting a good amount of airflow. And I might only put one of these fans in this case because I've got a big 200 millimeter pulling air in in the front. And then if I pull in air with this 140 millimeter PWM uh, industrial fan at the top and blow it right on top of that Noctua cooler just to throw even more cool air into the mix. And then I've got the fan exhausting in the rear. I've got two intake, one outtake. I've got positive pressure. And this fan is uh, definitely gonna bring some air into the case. No doubt about it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hook up the 120 millimeter and we'll see how that one sounds in comparison on the airflow front. Man, these are hard to get in. All right, now I got the little baby airflow fan going and you know what? I'm actually really, uh, I really wish I had another 140 millimeter version of this fan because I've got one of these doing the exhaust in the rear. Um, I can feel a decent amount of air coming off of this but it's definitely moving a wider air pattern. It's, you can tell the difference between airflow and static pressure. If you ever wanna just do this test with yourself, it's kind of an awkward setup, but it really does demonstrate just how different those two fan designs are as far as the really you know, wide, tight blades versus these that are angled a little bit more to let more space exist between each blade. It's pushing just a general amount of air. I'm not really feeling it in any one place. I'm, I'm feeling it out here, and I'm feeling it all the way over here. So you're getting a nice wide range with this fan and it is quiet. Listen to this. That is a quiet, quiet fan. Compared to the industrial fan, that is silent. I mean, I can barely hear this bad boy. So I have to say the Redux series for the airflow fans, very impressed Noctua, very impressed. Man, that is a quiet fan and I can't even hear the 140 millimeter one that's in the back of the case. Not to mention I've got the um, NHD 15 in here. I could barely even hear that. I, to, to know the computer was running when I was getting ready to plug this fan in, actually I had to look to see that the LEDs were up on the top because I could barely hear it running because the power supply is in hybrid mode. It's pretty cool to see that they offer the PPC industrial fans in both three pin and PWM. I like that. And uh, these, um, these uh, Redux fans, they're just general four pin PWM, just straight out of the box and they're moving a good amount of air, super, super quiet, feels sturdy. I mean, I'm moving this thing around, which is you know usually a big no-no, and the fan isn't upset about it at all. So, you know, I have to say, other than the kind of ugly wiring that's exposed here, which bugs me a little bit on when I did the uh, fan on the back of the case, good looking fan. It's uh, even in this case, which is a black case, it really doesn't stick out too much. So yeah, overall, pretty darn impressed. I have to say, I was really excited about the industrial fans because they look really cool, they're really heavy, and they feel super sturdy. But the real star of the show here, Redux series. I'm really impressed with these. They're just, I don't know what the price point is on them, but they're supposed to be entry level pricing. And if you're looking for a good case airflow fan, that's super quiet. That's your boy. Yeah, that really does feel nice. I really should change my desk setup and just run a super long three pin cable and just have one of these chilling next to me. That way if I start getting hot, maybe I can put like a sensor on me and the fan will kick up. That's really lame. But anyway, all lameness aside, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. That would help me out quite a bit. You can also follow me on Twitter over at Tech Uploaded and I'm also on Facebook. 
No idea what the link is for that. Just search for Tech Upload on Facebook. I have to say, the comment section of YouTube is getting a little bit crazy these days. So if you want to get a hold of me, uh, you may want to go the Twitter, Facebook route because I'm more likely to actually see the comment that way. So, as always, don't be a stranger. Check back soon. It's a face-off. Airflow versus PWM. Watch this. This gets really loud. They don't like that. They don't like that. Noctua's probably pissed at me right now.